Errol Spence Jr., he training for something. Roll the clip. Bad motherfucker, boy. Trying to keep that goddamn meal in. Man, it look hot out there and steep. What? It'd be one time. Man, I can't confirm no date. One thing I can't confirm though is nigga working, man. Yeah, What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Errol Spence Jr. is training for something. Rumor has it that he could be fighting Terrence Bud Crawford. I hope so. It's undisputed. I know that's the fight you all want to see, but this looks treacherous. Look at this incline. He out there. He out there working. <gasps> Putting them miles in. Now, you know, I love this from Errol Spence Jr. In fact, Terrence Crawford, he's, you know, been at the Hall of Fame. You know, and I'm not... Terrence Crawford's daddy or nothing, but I'm just saying Terrence Crawford's been at the Hall of Fame and, you know, he's with the Andre Wards and the Floyds and then he's responding to Jamal Charlo and Errol Spence is working in silence. He didn't film this. Shout out to my man, Jay. He's the one that got the footage. Errol Spence didn't, he just put in the work. He didn't even know he was being filmed, you know, apparently. And, you know, nobody else seems to have the footage. I don't think anybody else in the world of YouTube. That's why you guys got to subscribe to my channel. I'm the best in the business. I ain't seen nobody else with the footage. I ain't seen nobody else talking about this. But this particular clip, you know, real G's move in silence like lasagna. And I love it. I love to see Errol Spence putting in that great work. You know, just the fact that he may fight, may fight Terrence Crawford is enough to for me to see what I'm seeing from Errol Spence Jr. Because a lot of these younger fighters, Errol Spence, he's he's a veteran at this point, you know, 31, 32, whatever age he is. And, you know, he's been in massive crowds and 16,000 in a crowd, 50,000 in a crowd, 30,000. So he got that under his belt. He got them notches under his belt. So I like to see this. A lot of people, and there's a saying that I came out with, many moons ago, years ago on my channel, where it's like everybody wants to be Money Mayweather. They don't want to go through the Pretty Boy Floyd stages, right? Even on this YouTube game, and I could speak about that because this was this is my lane. On YouTube, people want to be the boxing egos and, you know, want to get up to the level, but they don't want to put in the same type of work that it took to get here. Like, I've been dedicated, hard work, dedication, doing boxing and covering this beautiful sport for double digit years without taking days off. Like my body of work speaks for itself. People come in and, you know, want to clickbait or this and that, but you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work to get to the Kobe levels and, you know, the Bruce Lee levels. So I like this from Errol. Errol Spence, he, like I said, he don't even know he's being filmed and he out here grinding with it, you know? He out here grinding and just putting the, the, the work in for a potential fight because to our knowledge the fight isn't actually confirmed and that looks steep look look how steep that look and you already know texas weather is hot look and it's funny to see people on youtube or instagram or boxing twitter and they got so much to say about like what everyone's doing but i know there's a lot of people out there that ain't doing this running incline sprints up a hill <laughs> you know in the heat and this is just one day of work this is not even what necessarily some of these fighters are doing day in and day out he might do this every single day you know and this is good for errol spence too because in a fight with terence crawford you don't know how it's going to go so you want to get your wind up you want to get your lungs up so you have that capacity and you're ready for it 
you know? So this right here is, this right here is so you guys can see, look how hot it is in God dang Texas. That's 110, 112 degree weather that Errol Spence is, is doing this type of training. You know, a lot of people go to famously go to Big Bear. They go to Big Bear to train and prepare for fights. But I'm telling you, I've been to Texas several times. This Texas heat is different. And I'm from Cali where it's hot all the time. But that te I'm telling you, like the Texas, the te what I don't know what it was about it. Maybe it's the humidity. But I went to Texas for an Errol Spence fight. I, I don't forget this uh, versus Ocampo, and it was like pass out type of heat. I don't know if I was maybe wasn't hydrated enough or whatever the case was. But that given day, like at the weigh-in, because Errol Spence had an outdoor weigh-in, I thought I was gonna pass out, bro. Like not literally, but. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really feel I was going to black out, but I'm just saying it was like that type of sweltering heat where you're like, God dang, let me get back in the AC air condition. Like, like even when you're shopping, I remember after like you're shopping and you'll duck off Texas weather is so crucial when it gets how it gets that I was shopping and then I just went into an unnecessary store. I didn't even look at what the store is just to be in the AC. Like you just, you just willing to get, you just want to get out the, out the heat. So I was just walking because I had no whip out there because I was, you know, I, a lot of these boxing fights, I don't really uh, rent cars anymore because of Uber and Lyft and and I know people in different cities and stuff like that. So it was an expense that I feel I don't even really need per se. And like, it gets so hot in Texas. I, I was in, I just dipped off into the party world or Toys R Us. I don't even know where I was going in. I just like, man, let me get out of here because this shopping plaza was super hot. I just went into the Ross or Toys R Us, wherever store. I don't even know what store I was going in just to get out the heat for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And collect myself. So for Arrow to be out here trucking and like doing this, 110, man, y'all better stop playing. 111, 100, look, doing ladders or whatever in 112 degree. Look, wow. Ah. Ah. Smash the like button. I'm the best in the, in the business. I'm the best this game has ever seen. Look, he ain't jumping all high. Those are pretty tall ladders. The kid putting in work right now. Let's go. Yo. You love to see it. You love to see it. Errol Spence out here grinding, putting in work, jumping these ladders. And, and you know, Errol Spence is a pretty mild-mannered, quiet dude, family man. You know, he don't really be out here talking. He don't really be saying what is. He's just putting in the work. And that, that's what I, I really respect, you know. I don't even know. Like, half the time, if you catch Errol on tape, it's because someone else decided to record him type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know. He, he'd probably be doing the same thing with or without the people filming. And, you know, I could respect that from, you know, as an athlete, this is your job. You got to get in, get out, maximize the time while you're here. And it looks like Errol Spence is, is definitely on his, on his way to doing this. You know, as far as Terrence Crawford, I know he's a dog. He'd be out in Colorado Springs putting in similar work. Colorado Spring, they got these stairs that just go straight up like you going to heaven or something. So, I know Terrence Crawford is putting this is this is how you know it's the best versus the best. Cause I know Crawford puts in mad work. Errol putting in mad work. Stop playing with me. I'm the best in the business. I put in mad work. So let's get ready for undisputed people. Listen, in the last 30 days, I looked at my YouTube analytics and showed me 50% of the people watching my content for free on YouTube. Subscribe to other 50% did not. Y'all can fix that right now. Subscribe to the channel. I'm the best in the business. I give you boxing. What's in it for you? Boxing news, boxing news, and more boxing news 24-7. All access. Your access is now granted. Subscribe to my channel. Errol Spence putting in that work. You love to see it. Subscribe. Hit him up.